I see everybody Zenithal highlighting their miniatures, and I've never tried it. So we're going to see if that works with my, like, quick and sloppy granite style that I do. Yeah, so I went ahead and primed these guys with Chaos Black, and then I got a, uh, oh, what's it called? Boring White. New White. White Scar, that's what it's called. Then I just sprayed it over just the top, so it kind of gives that shadowed look to them. First step, same as always, we're going to take Lead Belcher. We're going to get a bunch on the brush. I'm going to get most of it off while still keeping like a thick amount on there. It's like dry brushing, but I'm keeping more of the paint on there. So the brush is still gross and covered in paint. And I'm going to take a granite, and I'm just going to start going over every panel. Let's see how this goes. Just laying it on very thick, real heavy. So the reason we do this like this, rather than painting like with a regular brush and just going over each panel, is this sort of like heavy brushing technique makes it so that anything like down below stays dark, which I'm already noticing with the Zenithal sort of process of this means that those small areas within aren't going to be shadowed like down there. So normally when I've painted it black like that, um, when I spray it black and go like this, it'll keep that little area down there recessed, but we'll keep it up, see how this goes. All right, so there's that initial layer done, and it looks a little lighter than my usual work does, um, which makes sense, the white on top. I'm not really noticing a difference in the like uh, lighting or warmth of the white to the dark parts of the priming. Um, but it's just the first layer. We've got a couple more to go. Um, yeah, let's see how it looks after we soak these guys in Drakenhof Nightshade. Excellent. Now we're gonna let them dry before putting on the next layer of silver. All right, that's all dry, so we're gonna put another layer of lead belcher on. Before we do, I'm just kind of noting how much lighter it looks than my usual gray nights. And that's just, I think the white spray on top really did that. You can kind of see the effect of the Zenithal just a little bit. Anyway, let's put that other layer of lead belcher on top, just a dry brush. All right, this is gonna be lighter than that first layer. Um, we're just really making it so that there's no dark blue showing anywhere. But we're not going to go into the recesses and stuff because uh, we want that darkness to stay. Yeah, just like that. So we're really just going across the top of it. It's going to be much quicker than the previous layer. While I'm doing this, I've had a couple people ask me, why don't you just um, spray your Grey Knights with Lead Belcher and then do your wash over it? And hopefully you'll see why as I'm doing this. Uh, I like spraying with Chaos Black and then doing the silver over it because it makes the Lead Belcher much darker and richer. Uh, if you just spray it silver, then it's going to come off very like very shiny and that's usually not what i want i want the shininess to be purposeful across the model i want to use uh like the next step after this i want to use stormhost silver or another light silver uh in order to decide what parts are shiny rather than just making the whole thing bright and shiny so normally when i spray it black and then i do my silver my lead belcher dry brush over it it makes it so i can keep areas like under the legs or under the arms or beneath the helm and keep those like dark silver and then everything on top can be bright that way it just gives it more depth and it gives it that more grimier like i hate to say grim dark but grim dark feel to it okay so i went over with that second layer of lead belcher that dry brush of lead belcher just to make it so that the silver stays silver as opposed to the dark blue um, and what that does is hopefully it makes the recesses a little bit darker with all that. Oh no, I got paint on my finger. That always sucks. That sucks not because I don't like having paint on my finger, because if you have paint on your finger and then you touch your model, you fuck up your model. Um, yeah, anyway. Moving on. 
I don't have any Stormhose Silver. Uh, I sometimes use granite steel, but that can be a little bit of a watery paint. So I'm gonna use Necron Compound today. Designed for dry brushing. Uh, and for those of you who have, oh God, that one's also sticky. For those of you who watched my other video, you know this next step, which is just to very lightly take a little bit of whatever your dry brush light silver is. And I'm gonna just get most of it off of my brush. So I just have a little bit sitting on there, just on the little soft bristles, like that, barely any on there. And we're just gonna take the lightest parts, uh, very being very purposeful about it, and putting uh, a little bit of Necron compound just at the tops where the light will hit. Just dry brushing over the edges, just to give it like a slight shine. Maybe around the gorget, a little bit on the carapace there. Anywhere that has an edge that might be hit by the sun overhead, or whatever your light source is. That's really it. That's all there is to it. Just giving it a, sh a slight shine from up top. God, that looks cool. Granites are so cool. All right, so um, yeah, that's the armor. I'm going to go into the details now. All right, there's details. Time to move on to a wash. Shading is done. Now to do highlights and small details. All the details done, and time to do the swords. Swords are all done. I'm always pushing myself to try and do better and better force swords. And I feel like I learn something every time that I do it. Today, I learned that uh, it is better to do one long stroke with a color or a shade in my case, uh, rather than uh, a lot of small strokes like I would do to detail some like body armor. I also today limited the number of colors I use. Usually I go through a, a big range of blues in order to get my blends on my swords. Today I just used uh, just Kalidor Sky. Oh no. Just Kalidor Sky and then a black and a white. And I did various hues of Kalidor Sky. And I like how they turned out. All right, next step is the base. And there's the bases. Okay, that is the whole squad done. So I guess now we decide if uh, Zenithal highlighting really made a difference. And um, I'm gonna be honest, I don't think it did. Uh, it's difficult to tell that there was any sort of uh, highlighting, like Zenithal highlighting being done. The effect, so the effect is supposed to be because there's a lighter uh, priming on top. Uh, and a darker priming on the bottom, it adds a natural sort of lighting effect, but I don't know that it made any real difference here. I guess, I guess I'll play a few games and I'll see if it really made a huge difference, but honestly, it, uh, I don't think it really did anything for me. It made my painting a little bit more difficult because having a lot of white on the model um, meant I had to go thicker on the black rim around the base. Um, it, oh no! Uh, it meant that in a couple of areas I had to go over like real deep with my silvers where I would normally leave it black, like in the uh, uh, crevices there. I had to go deep with the silvers to make sure that I could actually get it, which I think added a more matte appearance to the whole thing, rather than leaving the dark crevices for my usual black. Um, but yeah, not a huge difference. It is possible that I did a shitty job doing Zenithal highlighting, and um, if you have any tips for that, please let me know. Uh, yeah, so that's it. Hooray, Grey Knights. Um, I also wanted to give a shout out real quick to all of my Patreons. Um, it's been a busy year, what with my new business and everything. And I just want to say I really appreciate everybody who has thrown a few bucks to me throughout the month. Um, it encourages me to keep making videos and you have no idea how much it helps. Uh, it means that if I need a new pot of Lothar and Blue or something, I have the extra funds to afford it. Um, if I want a coffee before work, then I have just have a little, a few extra bucks to make sure I can do that. So thank you to everybody who continues to support this channel. Um, you're all great and rah, 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 it makes more Grey Nights possible. All right. Thank you so much, everyone. I hope this was mildly entertaining. I will see you all next week with something different.